Equinox 24 is a 24 hour running event. It's held in the most beautiful location of Beaver Castle in Leicestershire. And you can run as a solo if you're brave and also in teams of up to eight people. So if you're a solo, you can run as many laps as you can in the 24 hours. And if you're in a team, you work as like a relay. So you have one member of your team on at any one time and you tag the next member and you take it in turns to run our beautiful 10K course. Equinox is brilliant. Obviously it brings everyone together. Everyone's here today having a great time. Loads of solo runners out, loads of team runners out. We love it. We're back every year, so love it. So the day starts on a big high with a mass start, which is a really fantastic part of the race. There's often kind of uh, 500 plus runners that cross that start line and it, they, they set off to huge cheers and big applause from the people that are watching. And over the morning, people settle into their routines, they start to figure out the course, they start to love and hate parts of our course as well. Uh, this is the third time at Equinox and they absolutely love it. It's a really good adventure. I don't know. <laughs> all about the running, it's all about the fun and I have to say it's been lots of fun so far but we've got to get through the night. Night time falls and at first there's a real excitement, running in the dark at Equinox 24 is often people's first experience of running in the dark and it's a pretty challenging course in the daylight and then you get to 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and that's, that's the bit that people really find tough, it's in, in a nice way but they they have to really dig deep and find some mental strength and willpower to keep going. And then you get to four or five o'clock and you start to feel that the dawn is on its way. And as soon as daylight breaks, there's a real buzz about the place, there's a real euphoria. People feel ready for the last part of the race. And we're all, we, uh, this is where we're at now. We've, we've just got through sunrise. People are having some breakfast and we can't wait to finish. And everyone's getting ready for that medal. A festival for runners, really, just camping with your friends. It's the first time I've run 10k, so it was pretty scary. I won't tell you what she said when she got to line. <laughs> Don't have to make me run again. <laughs> hard on the body, hard on the mind, but absolutely awesome. So the course for Equinox 24 is a 10k loop. It's around the gorgeous um, Beaver Castle estate grounds and it's mixed terrain. There are parts of it that are on the very quiet estate roads. So there's a beautiful um, stone bridge that you cross over a huge lake. Um, you get to run up a long, sloping, gentle hill to the halfway point and then after the halfway point, at, well it's about five and a half k, you start to go off road and the, the ground is, is fairly um, challenging, you've got some undulating ground, there's a hill that we call that hill that people love to hate, it's very short but very steep and it's the one that everyone's talking about a week after the event. The hill is pretty challenging. But the rest is, it's okay, nice views and the lake is wonderful. Yeah, first year I've done that was really good actually, apart from that silly hill. Go down the steep hill and then come up again was, was tough, but uh, I'm pleased I ran all the way around. As the day changes, the views around the course change massively. So the early morning mist rolling off the lake, um, you can see the campsite um, when you're at the top of the hill running down and you see all the, the tents and the crowds waiting for you below. When you're out there, everybody's um, just yeah, egging each other on and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Experience so far is just brilliant. The camaraderie of the team, uh, the looking at the beautiful estate and just everybody wishing you well as you're running around. It's fantastic and I, even if you don't only want to do one lap, it's worth coming down and just helping people cheer. It makes such a difference, so yeah, it's great. Equinox 24 is so special because of the people that run it. It is the most supportive atmosphere. You run around this course and everyone you pass is shouting well done. Every marshal is cheering you on and the final part of the course is around the camping field and there are people queuing up to give you a cheer, shout your name, shake a cowbell at you, hold a sign up to tell you how amazing you are um, and it's a really, really fabulous community. It's alright, it's just us. Hello guys. Hello. Just us, shoulders, that's it, shoulders. It's always going to be the shoulders. Carrying 20 kilograms, so fingers crossed. One of the things that makes the community so special, we've got a really fantastic Facebook group and people are in there all year getting excited about Equinox, sharing their stories, sharing their photos, giving each other advice and that really helps to make people feel that when they arrive here they've actually got a whole load of friends to meet and um, perhaps to meet for the first time in real life but it really does make sure that there's a friendly, supportive atmosphere and we don't think there's a race like it. 
If you want to enter up enter at Equinox24, just visit our website www.equinox24.co.uk. There are videos, testimonials, photographs, all the race info and you can enter directly from there. Hi, I'm John Hollis and I'm part of the BJR Not Not In It To Not Win It team. Uh, my name is Melvin, I'm from the Philippines. My name is Ellie, I'm from the Philippines, from Birmingham. Hi, I'm Chris Wood. Uh, we've come down from um, Lincoln Way today. Well, yesterday, actually, we stayed over last night. Oh, just finished the first lap. I am the team captain of the RJ, not not in it, to so not win it, Wooly McWooly face.